Hey guys, this is Dan from Nutriforce. Today I'm going to show you how to make a strawberry banana super shake using a uh, special ingredients um, that actually adds a high intensity, power packed nutrition value to your shake. Um, and I'm going to show you now. This is a one handed video, so bear with me as I turn stuff around. Okay, so what we're going to be adding special ingredients today is uh, powdered barley grass and barley grass is one of the most powerful uh, nutrient rich foods on the earth because the, uh, the, uh, the roots grow super far into the ground and it soaks up and absorbs the maximum amount of uh, nutrition that you can absorb. Um, so the, this is considered a superfood. Um, a lot of people use it even in the studies I've found for cancer patients. Um, it's a very good source. It's green. It looks like uh, protein powder except it's green. Um, the secondary thing I'm going to add today is something called uh, trace minerals. All right, so the minerals are what you find when, you know, like when you buy a mineral pill, um, you know, like vitamins and minerals, the minerals are what should be in your plants. Problem is, is that uh, the soil that you buy, I'm sorry, the plants that you buy, the soil is usually 85% mineral deficient as far back as the 1930s and reports they were doing. So if you are um, even getting organic foods, you do not know how much minerals are still in the soil. So these minerals um, uh, are the act they taste terrible on their own, so you have to mix them in something because they're kind of salty tasting, but it's not sodium, it is mineral salt. So these are um, this is from a company called uh, Trace Minerals. Concentrace is what this is called. And just a few drops I will add to that so that my body's getting the maximum amount of absorbable nutrition in a liquid form instead of trying to break down a pill. So let's get rolling. I'm going to pop top on this so it's not so hard when I'm, when I'm going. All right. So this is how I start off. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of coconut water. You can use regular water if you want, but this is coconut milk. And I know about the ratio, so don't ask me how many ounces this and how much that. It's all done by sight. All right, so I add, depending on, like, I'm going to add about a handful. I'm not going to overload my blender because I made a video before that said how to make, you know, a, a smoothie that doesn't suck. And when you make videos, I mean, when you shove too much vegetables in there, like you see some of these uh, companies show you to do, you end up with... Uh, a smoothie and it doesn't taste good at all. So um, now I'm going to add a handful of strawberries and uh, so I would say you're going to put about a cup in there. You can use a whole to a half banana. Um, then one scoop like this, about a teaspoon of the barley grass. This is the superfood. You can add all kinds of stuff. Typically, me, uh, I, I've been making these for so long, I'll add turmeric, I'll add maca powder, I'll add the barley grass to it. I'll have like a super, super shake, but most people aren't going to spend that much money and stuff. This is one of the number one ingredients right here, too, to get tons of minerals. They'll tell you to put so many drops, like, this, like 20 drops, of course, they want you to use as much as possible um, so that you buy more. Then I like to add um, a few nuts to mine, sometimes peanut butter. I'm going to add about a, that much walnuts, give it a little taste. I love walnuts. All right, so let me put the lid on that so I don't spill it, and then we'll get rocking on this. Put the lid on my Vitamix, which is probably the best blender I've ever had. Um, I also like the Nutribullet series for um, their inexpensive and they work great. So I'm gonna start off on low, get it rolling. A little bit of noise for a second. So I let it run, chop up a little bit, and then we increase the speed. All right, sometimes you can hear how it catches air. This is what the tamper is for on these. 
smash it down a little bit. There we go. All right, this is where most people screw up their smoothies. So here they are. They made this smoothie and it's really thick. And when you're using greens and uh, veggies and stuff like that, especially spinach and stuff, it usually ta doesn't taste too good. So I'm gonna add about a, another quarter cup of water. And I use alkaline water. I have a special thing I buy. I always use filtered water because regular water is so bad for you. So I'm gonna crank this up again. or 40 seconds is usually how long I let it run. Let's grab a glass out of here. I'm limited with space right now. All right. Um, do a little taste test here. Mm, pretty good, pretty good. So let's pour in here. Now, if you're just getting started making smoothies and you're not, sometimes the taste is not you're so used to sugar and all kinds of stuff. You can actually use a little bit of agave nectar or some stevia in your smoothie. And uh, it will sweeten it up some. But just remember, agave still has calories and sugar to it. It just digests. Uh, it just turns uh, in your, to insulin in your body a lot slower than regular uh, sugar would. So it's a lot better for you as far as... Uh, your blood sugar and stuff but it still will have calories and things so let's give this a taste here I want to try it out mmm yeah nice and smooth good healthy protein shake low in calories now I will tell you if you decide to use the trace minerals go easy on those trace minerals they will they are super concentrated all right so even if a bottle says to use 20 30 drops I say use like 8 to 10 all right um, because it will uh, make the taste of your smoothie kind of an odd salty taste or something so uh, and it's not like table salt it's a different type of salty taste so make sure to use the uh, uh, these ingredients blend it up 30 40 seconds that what I just showed you right there is one of the most powerful shakes uh, that you can make. All right, this is Dan for Nutriforce. Have fun, guys.